We're kind of moving crazy. Moving crazy, man. I just had a chat with Anzi Flea. Anzi Flea. Lego Padme FC, look and see. Look and sick, man. Lunchbox, I just came through with a twigs. With yeah, twigs, man, we're yeah. kind of cruising. So, um... We get into this game with the Hansi Flick strats. You know, I've had a chat recently. I've been, I've been actually really trying to just get every little piece of strategy that I can in terms of how we're pressing, how we're, how we're attacking. You know, how we're going to go at them. And um, the four-two-four was basically the selective formation, just because it, it enables you to kind of pin that back four of theirs. And we go into this game, you know, trying to go up the divisions, trying to head towards the ultimate goal of qualifying for foot champions. But in order to do that, we need to accumulate quite a lot of points. We find ourselves 2-0 down. And I was like, I was thinking about what Hansi Flick said and he was like, lad, you know, whether you're eating spaghetti hoops or wheat or bigs, sometimes you've got to step up. And I was like, what the hell is he on about? Like, step up. And then, and then I was like, lads, hang on a minute. My, my defence, I think it's like a, a little subtle note. Like, my defence is not stepping up at all. They're allowing them to receive the ball at feet and turn and get away from the press. And I was like, hang on a jiff. If we step up, like if you see here, Spinozola stepping up to that wide um, area, it stops them from getting out completely. And all of a sudden, we're going at him. From 2-0 down, we're going at him. Diaz falls for my boy Wijnaldum. and we're screaming at this point. I was I actually had Lego Padme sat next to me. Lego Padme was sat next to the boy at um, in the manager's quarters type thing. And we were just kind of sat cozy, man. And I was... I was giving her a big old hug, you know, leg of pads. So um, Insigne looking to do the most here, cuts inside. Merton's trying to get a shot away and just watch again. We're pinning them. We're pinning the back four. They can't get out at all. They try to give it to the, the, the winger again and the left back steps up. Spinazzola doing the most ball across, tries to get it out. My goodness me. At this point, I actually started ringing anti flick Man's got the phone out. Oi, Anzi, it's working, lad. Step up, ting. And he was like, lad, I don't know how you got that. That was really... That was a really subtle one type thing. Like, that was a really low-key thing. And, and I was like, yeah, man, I, I've got the strats. Don't you worry. And then I hung up on the boy. So I had to make sure. To, he was, I didn't think he was actually too happy with that, but I don't need him anymore. I've got the strats 4-2. My goodness me. They can't get out from the press. They can't get out at all. Manolas. So pretty much after this, you're going to see the actual tactics input that I did on, the, you know, the custom tactics thing. I decided to switch up the tactics based on what I've actually seen in this game. And what have I seen in this game? I've seen, first of all, my team fighting. I've seen Lego Padme doing the most. And I've seen the Strats really, you know, stepping up, stopping them from doing anything. And the second half is a completely different game. I think the manager, after the game, he actually said to me, he's like, lad, what on earth happened at halftime? Like, what sort of team talk was that? My guy, you got to come do my team talks. And I was like, nah, lad, you're in the mud. I mean, I just kind of like, I, I, I rejected the handshake. And um, he wasn't happy about that at all. My guy, Nicholas Breslin, was actually the manager for the other team. He's recently signed up for these lot. So, um, yeah, 6-2. Um, you know, I, I do wish Nicholas Breslin a, a long and fruitful career. But, um, yeah, I'm not too sure it's going to last, I'll be honest, lad. So, we finish off that game. We wrap them up. We're headed closer and closer towards the foot champions um, qualification, man. We're actually going to do the most. So, in terms of the tactics, I decided to narrow the attack that much more to allow the um, defence or the left back rather Spinozola to drag out that right back and then having four very narrow attackers stay central on the two strikers and we're just looking to have that very narrow front four and um, and obviously Spinozola the left back overlap is going to add that width and drag out the right back so he's on join the attack overlap step up and we've got the two centre backs stepping up as well like I say I said to the lads after the game, I was like, you need to do more of that. Just stepping up the right back, doing the same. Not allowing them to receive and turn. Because if they're able to receive a ball and turn, they're going to break out of the press every single time. And I said that. We need to be able to stop them with a the press. So, we hit on my guy Jabra and I said, you know, can we get some rewards? Obviously, we've we've been headed towards for champions and all of that. And he said, my guy, I'll send them through. I'll send them right through. And I was like, lad. Oh my goodness me, you're actually, uh, you're actually kind of doing the most. My God, Jobs, my God, Jobber. And I, I actually promise a boy, if you know, if it goes wrong at Lego Padme FC again, I'll be sure to, to join the Hot Cartel. You know, I'll join the Hot Cartel and I'll see if I can do the most for them. Because quite frankly, I owe um, my God, Jobber, a, a huge debt. I really do. And and he was actually one of the, the original investors when I went into Dragon's Den and I came up with my idea for the lumber support chairs. And my guy, you know, everyone else turned their bags. They turned their bikes on the boy, man. And then Jabba just came through like, nah, man. I'm willing to spend up. This lumber support thing looks banging. It, it like, and then he sat back on it himself. I made a custom 
custom chair, but um, a bit different scale to the normal chair type thing, and, and he really likes it. So Insigne looking to do the most down the right-hand side. We get the ball across. My guy Mertens. He's screaming once again, man. And tactically, we're just doing something different. We're doing something different to what everyone is kind of expecting, you know. It's a different um, philosophy, different different wavelength, really. So Mertens looks to take him on. And my goodness me, he's been practicing 1v1s, you can tell, as we get a penalty. My goodness. He just, he absolutely snapped the boy's ankles, pretty much. Um, actually, never sent it back, kind of almost did that to Mertens, getting a slide tackle in. But 2 0 up, we find ourselves. We're actually building out from the back here, able just to penetrate through the middle. Not tight enough at centre mid, then not stepping up like the boys. Mertens just looking for a bit of space, finds the width out wide. I think we've actually got Spinner Zola, as you can see there, who's now coming on the inside. So he's actually adding to that as we get a beautiful attack there, right across the face of goal. And at this point, the whole, everyone in Lego Padme FC, I think they know this season's a little bit different. The stadium just had that kind of energy that you can't fake. You know, it's a real tangible thing. The whole stand was just, was going crazy. All the stands, you know, all the stands standing, actually standing up out of the, the lumber support for, I think I counted for half a second and then they sat back down because they're like, man, can't be dealing with uh, not sitting down in this beautiful chair, man. This is too sexy. So we go into the next game. This guy, this manager has got a hell of a team. Like, he was actually relatively well organized. He was known as a counter attacking manager. And I had to be kind of cautious about that, but I still wanted to go at him with a press once more. You know, we just kind of went for him. So Mertens getting the ball across Di Maria, couldn't get a shot away. Spinner Zola, like I say, he's just, he's popping up in the right positions. My guy, man, he's adding to that attack. And it's just very, very difficult for them to be able to deal with what's going on. But once again, like I say, they're a counter-attacking team and they hit us on the counter-attack. Usman Dembele with the celebrations. So, as it, you know, it's a different level of, um, of of game, really, in terms of tactics. It was very much a, a decent manager. This was actually my guy, um, Benjamin Backhouse. And he's just recently signed for this team and he keeps signing for new teams and that. But he was just doing a madness for him. But I don't know. It kind of got to the point, though, where it was like they couldn't break out of the press again. He's trying to break out from the goal kick there. Insigne getting the ball and all the rest of it. Free kick given away. And like I say, when you're pinning that back four, how are they able to build out from the back? There's a lot of teams that are used to having their own way in terms of building out from the back. And, you know, when they do, it doesn't go their way and, they, and you're pressing them from the front, certain managers just got to leave. And he actually went off. Benji back out. So I just kind of... Wave my hand. He waved back, you know, show a, a little sign of respect. But he had to dip. He had to dip out his own stadium and leave his all his fans just kind of uh, ranting. And I think that probably is the end of Benji's career at that club. So we go into yet another game, and and this game was actually a really tough one. This one was a really tough one. And this one, I think the manager's name was Connor Bradish, and he was apparently studying for a whole week, just studying my strats. That's it, literally just studying. And he also had a chat with Hansi Flick. He, I've, I, I, I think I've rung up Hansi Flick and I said, lad, have you been chatting to anyone else? And he was like, yeah, I had dinner with this lad. And I was like, who? He was like, Connor Bradish. And I was like, oh no. So, so this lad knew the strats in and out and he was able to, to deal with the strats relatively well as opposed to, to most managers. But Mertens coming up with a bit of magic here. Watch this. Oh my days, dancing. He's absolutely dancing as we get 2-1 there. And, um, and all of a sudden, I was like, hang on a jiff. Are we really just going to be able to get away with this? But then again, like I say, man's got the strats. He knows the strats. Hansi Flick. My goodness me, why has he snaked me out? 2-2. Two, two. 88th minute now. We're looking to get a result, man. We're not looking for a draw. Spinazzola looking to get the ball across. Tackled. Oh, man. It's tough. It is tough. And he's looking to see it out. O'Connor Bradish was actually celebrating a draw. He was celebrating a draw before it's even happened. Before the whistle was blowing, he was going mad. And he sprinted over to me and literally fell over. <laughs> he fell over. And um, and uh, I think he actually had Shannon Briggs with him as well. He actually picked him up. So, um, yeah, it was a bit of... It, just a bit of a wild one type thing. So, getting into the next game. We're at our home stadium again. We're seeing if another team can deal with a press. Spinozola pressing up there. And look at that. De Litt meeting Harry Kane there. Not, not able to turn away. You know, just the press coming in and the ball across. We're making it ugly for him. And, you know, this is a hell of a team. Like, it's, it's a decent manager. You know, it's a great team. And we're just making it ugly for him. We're making it difficult. We're not letting it be that kind of smooth smooth sailing game. But, you know, as you, as you see, they've got quality in the team that can just kind of come up with something out of nothing. 
as they get it back to 1-1. One, one. But we weren't having that, man. We were looking to go at him in the second half as we get the ball with Diaz, just taking him on. Left back in the mod, still going at him. Diaz, what's he looking to do? He does ever so well, but the press comes in, stepping up. When Aldem spots the pass, and Mertin's toxic, man. Once again, Lego Padme. And she was actually sat next to me. She's usually in the box with all of the board of directors who I've, you know, they've been a little bit quiet as opposed to last season. But um, yeah, Lego Padme was actually sat with me for this game as well. She's, she's been able to, the board have actually let her um, just sit with me for the games and stuff. And we've just been having little chit chats and things like that. So yeah, man, it's, it's a hell of a time. We're getting the dobs in. Hansi Flick Strat's doing the most. Connor Bradish obviously found out about him, which is a bit annoying. But um, this guy, he, he, I don't know, like he was trying to pick me apart here and there. He was actually count <coughs> countering me. My goodness me. And um, yeah, man, I've just been eating the hash browns. Man's been eating the hash browns with the chicken nuggets for brunch. What sort of brunch is that, you might be saying? But it's tasty, man. The chicken nuggets coming in. And uh, I'm about to have a bit of green tea too, man. We're cruising. We really are cruising, but Insigne. Giving it through for Mertens. He looks to finish to Stegen. Wow. Wow. What a save. What a save, I have to say. So the fans, you can feel that electric energy. You know, you could get you could get your phone charged up on it type thing. But Aldum gives it to Diaz and he lifts the stands. Everyone rising to attention once again for only half a second, I must add. Um, but everyone was loving that at the Lego Padme FC Stadium. And, and for something else as well, other than the result, this means... That we are now eligible to uh, enter the qualification for foot champions. So we're going to be doing that next up. So make sure make sure to tune in for another tactical masterclass. Next time we're going to be doing the most. Trying to qualify. Can it be done, man? Foot champions awaits. I'm getting scared. No, I'm actually getting scared. All right. In a jiffy, chaps and chapits. Man, he really put a twig in my lunchbox. Yeah, man, been treading hard with the dunt loves. Yeah, trade for Charizard till the sun drops. Yeah, I done floats. Look at the channel, man, I done floats.